so I will make room for you I will prepare for two so you don't feel that you can't live here please live in me so i will make room for you i will prepare for two so you don't feel that you can't live here please live in me i used to have real big dreams i suppose everyone does at one point but mine seemed crazy even for my imagination Let's just say I wanted to sing, like really sing. And I was good too. Really, it wasn't just my parents who told me, but it seemed like everyone who heard me told me I had a gift. That was until I got older and saw people better than me. It wasn't just the fact that they were more skilled, but they had this confidence that I seemed to have just lost along the way. It's all good though. I now work for this amazing company managing accounts for clients, living the American dream. By all accounts, my future should be clear. But if I'm honest, I need some clarity. Girl, why are you lying through your teeth? You know what it happened like that. How am I lying? You told me that you liked him and you went on a date to see if he was real or not. When did I tell you that we kissed on the first date? The time you told me that you two locked braces. <laughs> you know that's impossible, right? <laughs> no, it's not. But at least you knew his braces were real. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, for real, for real. So, my birthday is coming up, you know, and I was wondering if you wanted to, you know, oh, Tell you, I would, but I told you I have to work. I got clients waiting on me. I got money to make. I got a future to see. And then I still gotta go home and take my hair out. Like, you know how it is. Come on, Sav, you're always working. Can't you take some time off for me? I just want you to sing a little something. Huh. Look at the time. Um, lunch goes by quick nowadays. All right, um, see what I can do and I can maybe stop by. Yes, it's at seven. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's fun as you two getting your braces locked, remember? <laughs> Girl, you need help. <laughs> Come, Come to, me, to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it.
You look beat. Oh, what? I said you look beat. And I'm not talking about, you know, your, your makeup, your face being... Sis, you look tired. Where did you come from? Like, calm down. Just calm down. I'm not here to hurt you. Actually, it's the opposite. I'm here to help you, Savannah. How do you know my name? Like, are you stalking me? Did you, did you follow me for... No, you done seen enough movies to know what I am. All right, so why don't we skip right past the games and get to the point? I'm here because he sent me. He's heard you. And he has not forgotten about you. As a matter of fact, you are exactly where he wants you at this moment. And, well, I'm just here to open your eyes to a few things. It's a lot to process. What do I need to do to get you to leave? <laughs> Look, all you gotta do is listen and answer a few questions, all right? For starters, you need to make room. I don't get it. This house has plenty of room. That's not what I'm talking about. All right, I'm talking about in your heart. Make room for God. Savannah, ever since you got this new job, everything else has gone on the back burner. Your private time with God, gone. Spending time with family, done -zo. And now Taya is competing for just a sliver of your time? What kind of sense does that make? Not a lot, I guess. And can we talk about your dreams for a second? Now, I know good and well that when you were a little girl, you did not want to grow up to be an account manager. Especially not with that beautiful voice you have. God gave you a gift and you keep shoving it back. Girl, use it. Look, I'm going to say this and I'm done. Mark 8 and 36 is very real in this moment. Now, according to the world standards, you have everything you need to be successful. But don't you understand that what God wants to give you is so much more? What if I fell? Jeremiah 29, 11. It says he knows the plans he has for you. He's giving you a hope and a future. And he knows what he's doing. But you need to be willing to trust him and make room. Come on. Let's pray. And I know He watches. I know He watches. I used to have real big dreams. I suppose everyone does at some point. Let's just say I, I wanted to sing, and I'm actually pretty good at it. It's actually turned into a blessing in more ways than one. I have to thank that angel God sent me. She showed me that he gave me this gift, and it's not to be buried, but used to bless others. Yes, the gigs are nice, but I now know it's not about the money, but how much space I make. Thank you.